has been ravaging the Araromi community in Shomolo local government area in recent times. Children have been the most endangered. Mothers are scared. Nobody knows whose child may be next. Very recently, there has been an outbreak of um, cholera um, in one of our communities. And we're actually sensitizing and actually telling people how to live their, a healthy life because we do not want this kind of thing in our community. For us, it is for our children, we really have to take care of these kids because we found out that a lot of people actually die because of um, this cholera and diarrhea. These five community development associations in the area decided they could no longer bear it any longer. They resolved to give the disease a fight. A fight to save their children and the community from this disease. They staged a walk for life to reawaken community members on the need to take care of their wards in this critical time of cholera outbreak. The outbreak had earlier been reported in the Araromi axis of the council. This makes everyone turn health campaigner, moving from house to house to spread the gospel of save a child. Cholera is an infectious disease that causes severe watery diarrhea, which leads to dehydration and even death if left untreated. Lagos Community Update gathered that the community development associations had earlier gone on monitoring and identify that open defecation, poor hygienic culture, indiscriminate displaying of consumable items, and environmental neglects, amongst other, is thriving daily in the council area. All these shops around this area, there is no toilets. So people are going to the canal to, to pollute. So we came and go around and we discovered there is no toilet here. Then we came first time and gave him a mandate that toilet must be here. He must build his toilet. You can see, if you watch very well, you see blocks, you see him clearing the place, trying to put things in order to start building the toilets. The inhabitants of this community have had to contend with this ugly trend, but moved by these community champions is yielding positive output. We have actually gone to a lot of places to see what happens, but we find out that some people, sockerways are open. Some people, we find out that people defecate anyhow and all that. So, flies perch on it, they perch on food, and it goes on and on, you know. And that's why we're actually going from houses to houses to see how the sockerways are. Some people actually open their, 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 their sockerway inside some of these canals. And that's why we're working. We're sensitizing them and we're telling people how to wash their hands. That if we can actually take care of our hands, if we actually wash our hands, that is, we take care of over 45 percent of all of these um, diseases. So we are telling them how to wash their hands, how to take care of the environment. This young boy seems to be more aware. He spoke to us. Cholera is caused by dirty, dirty environment. So how do you take care of your own environment? By cutting the grass, raking the gutter, and sweeping the surrounding. They should wash their hands with soap and water after using the toilet, before eating and after eating. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. On this note, community development associations in Shomoli local government are hoping that this health work will put an end to the spread of preventable diseases in their localities. About three weeks ago, uh, we had outbreak of cholera in this environment due to insufficient of water. We know then the rain fell uh, for so long a time and the PSP were not on ground as at that time to come and pick the refuse. So from this, it now turns out to cholera, which we lost about three people but save the children, 
with the intervention of Save the Children and the Ministry of Health, it has been stopped.